Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing to look at the uh, modal cycles. This time it's the Planar Chaos Charm cycle, okay? And let's jump into it. I really like the art on this one. Um, mm. Please hit like and subscribe. It makes a big, big difference, it does. So what are we talking about? These are all budget, 90 cents and under modal spells. This is the complete uh, cycle, the Planar Chaos Charm cycle. These are monocolored charms, but yeah, I'm trying to order them from worst to best. Um, there's a lot of room for like debate there. Even my last video, someone said, I think I had rated white as the worst and they were like, no, it should be number one. And they made a very convincing argument. It should be number one. I, I think I was wrong there. So yeah, it, I'm kind of operating in a vacuum as well. I feel like if I talk to someone for a few minutes about this, I'd probably come up with a whole different answer. Anyway. Uh, these are unusual as they have an off-color option, which is the theme in the Planar Chaos set, or a, a break of the color pie. So one option is going to be like, usually associated with a different color. Like the blue has like a black discard ability. So yeah, that type of thing where they don't, there's a, Bit of a mismatch, which can be nice if you're looking for a mortal spell for some flexibility. That can actually add in pretty nicely. The last thing I'd say is that these are also the, the older modal uh, charms, especially the monocolored ones. They're very, very situational. So yeah, that's what I'd say for this one as well. Number five, Midnight Charm. Okay, for one block, Midnight Charm, deal one damage to target creature and you gain one life. Or target creature gains first strike until end of turn. Or tap target creature. Okay. Um, you know, the deal one damage to target creature, gain one life thing, probably not going to be removal, but maybe also it... Um, the gain one life is, I think, the most useful part of that because you can use it to kind of like secure some kind of trigger. Um, for instance, you'll have a lot of triggers that like gain three life, then this happens. Maybe you'll have something with like a two two with life link. Get, you know, you get your two life link heal in and then you use this to secure it. Um, that's a very happenstantial, I think, um, way to look at it, but even if you have something where you heal one automatically, you heal extra, you might be able to like set it off more easily as well. I feel like I'm reaching a bit on that one, but yeah. That's uh... Also, first strike isn't bad for one creature one time. Maybe? Again, you could do it to someone else's creature and like completely change the outcome of a battle maybe. So yeah, that could be good. Uh, tap target creature, again, in the right situation. Oh, uh, sure. But anyway, 13 cents. Number four. Fury Charm. So one in a red. Some of these have higher CMC. Um, choose one destroy target artifact. Um, target creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains trample until end of turn. Um, remove two time counters from a target permanent or suspended card. So if you have a bunch of suspended cards in your deck, this is actually pretty good, right? This is like the weirdest niche card though. Um, destroy target artifact is always a nice option to have. Um, I would like it with other removal as well, like you could destroy a creature or an enchantment. That would be good, but you know what? You're gonna, in a standard game, especially if you're playing like a multiplayer game, I'm always thinking commander. I probably shouldn't be, but yeah, um, destroying an artifact is going to be useful at some point, guaranteed. Um, target creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains trample. Once again, it doesn't have to be your creature, right? Use it to get on someone else's creature, guaranteed damage, get uh, get some through, or yeah, also politicking a bit. Anyway, 12 cents. Number three, Piracy Charm for one blue. I love the name. All right, choose one. Target creature gains island walk until end of turn. Target creature gets plus two, minus one until end of turn. Okay. 
Target player discards a card. Once again, that's a black thing, right? The force discard is very black, so Demir might like this, some Demir decks. Um, target creature gets plus two, minus one. I think probably that would be good for like, you know, casting on a creature that's unblocked to get extra damage or on a creature with only one toughness to try and use it as removal. So it's potentially useful, but I would want to combine it with other effects as well. Like if you have something that like gives all of your opponents creatures minus one minus one or something like that this stacks and becomes minus two and then you're going to start like more easily knocking things out and yeah island walk is a strange one island walk is very good one time island walk um i feel like are you gonna want to attack the player with an island is that gonna be your target i feel like casting this for the island walk option is almost like obligating you to attack the player with an island even if maybe you don't really want to target that person so yeah i i love island walk i think it like in this kind of modal way it's not great anyway 14 cents number two dawn charm one in a white two cmc again this is getting to good stuff. Prevent all combat damage. A fog effect, a big fog effect. Just shutting down all combat damage. Um, that would be dealt this turn. So again, you can use it to bail someone out as well. So just very, very good. Or regenerate target creature. Um, any creature you want, you can just be like, no. Nope. It's back. Um, really good as well just especially in commander automatically just save your commander one time for two mana it's like commander tax it's the price of commander tax to just like have them back immediately and finally um counter target spell that targets you counter spells that are not in blue are always nice to have especially as modal because hey maybe you use it maybe you don't if you don't no big deal it does a bunch of other stuff um, is the spell going, is there really likely that a spell is going to target you though, right? Removal targets your creatures or artifacts or enchantments. Board wipes don't really target anything. So we got lots of different effects that will target like all kinds of different things. But are there a lot that in a game, how often are pe people actually targeting you? Like, you, they could, like, Diabolic Edict and force you to, to sacrifice. You could counter that. That'd be great. When's the last time you had that happen? I think in the right meta, this is incredible. Um, the Fog effect as well. Like, Fog and Counter is a great combination and brings a creature back. Uh, very strong option. This is playable. Getting it at its most, I think, is unlikely. Anyway, 95 cents. Number one, Evolution Charm. Okay, one in the green. So again, this is two CMC. Search the library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. Getting that card to hand, that land to hand, people I think often want like a ramp that puts land straight into the battlefield. If you don't have a land in your hand, you're not really ramping, right? If you miss your land drop and then play something that puts a land into the battlefield, Let's say it costs you like three mana or two mana, whatever it is. You just paid mana for that land drop. Yeah, I guess maybe you could argue that's what you're doing here too, but get your land drop or you're not ramping, right? Ramping should be going up, not just maintaining. Anyway, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Creature recursion, very useful always. And target creature gains flying until end of turn. This is a... Flying, I think, is better than Island Walk. This, or at least in this case it is, because it's going to, like, let you, uh... Basically attack whoever you want. You're not, like, limited to attacking the people with islands. Yeah. It's, uh, anyway, 10 cents.
The list. Okay, Midnight Charm, 13 cents. Piety Charm, 36 cents. Vitality Charm, 23 cents. Dawn Charm, 95 cents. Evolution Charm is 10 cents. All right, take it easy.